Greetings, everyone. I join you today to provide a substantive update coming from myself, the deputy director, and your entire executive team. Over the last nine months, the executive team has spent countless hours together, team building, getting to know each other, and also engaging in strategic planning. And what a great opportunity we have as we pivot out of the pandemic, where we have been in a reactive state for over three years, to now rise up to the 40,000 foot level and be begin discussing where do we want to go? What could the future look like? So as an executive team, we first began by examining our strengths, our weaknesses, our opportunities, and our threats. And then we leveraged those conversations as we reviewed our mission, vision, and core values. And new thoughts began to unfold as an executive team. I'm filming from MSTC, where your executive team and all of our wardens have joined together for a training event. And just this morning, I shared with them our new mission, vision, and core values, which I now get to share with all of you. Our new mission will look familiar to you. It still has all the core tenets of our previous mission, but you will see some nomenclature that is different and meaningful. The new mission, corrections professionals who foster a humane and secure environment and ensure public safety by preparing individuals for successful reentry into our communities. Our new vision statement captures our proposed future state for the Bureau. And it reads, our highly skilled, diverse, and innovative workforce creates a strong foundation of safety and security. Through the principles of humanity and normalcy, we develop good neighbors. Next, our core values. There are now five core values. Three were maintained, but redefined. First, accountability, meaning we are responsible and transparent to the public ourselves and to those in our care and custody by the standards we establish, the actions we take, and the duties we perform. Second, integrity, meaning we are true to our ethical standards in all circumstances. Next, respect. This means we foster an inclusive environment where the viewpoints of employees, the public, and those in our care and custody are considered and valued. Fourth, compassion. This means we will strive to understand one another's circumstances and act with empathy. And by we, we mean each other as colleagues and corrections professionals, and also compassion for those in our care and custody. Last but not least, correctional excellence. We demonstrate leadership in our corrections field through our practices and our values. I hope this provides needed insight into our thinking for the future of our agency. So thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for everything you do day in and day out. And lastly, thanks in advance for all you will do to operate within our new core values, be true to our new mission, and in moving our new vision forward. Be safe and be well.